So let's kind of talk for a moment. And this pure. Here we go. Speculation. We. There's plenty of that in this our, guy. Let's our just other favorite thing, thing beyond licensing, we love speculating. Um, yeah. So people were, like we said, they're a little upset over the fact of we don't know when Pinball Effects is coming out. And therefore, if they don't own VR, there's this large gap between when they're being able to buy more tables for their thing. And they're like, mm. this is unacceptable. I want tables now. So the other thing that we don't know, and you can go any number of ways on this, right? But we don't know, are your previous table purchases going to carry forward into pinball effects? And as I mm. argued before, the licensors certainly don't want that. They want that second bite of the apple. Yeah, um, they want more money, thanks. That's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and and to be honest, again. I'm saying this is why Lucasfilm is working with Zen right now. They pumped out a completely separate game for Switch. Not that Switch had the yeah. ability to buy uh, Star Wars previously, but boom, they pumped out a separate game for that. Now they're doing it for VR. So yeah. if you owned it on the Switch... And then you want it in VR, there's bite number two, right? And yeah. then let's say you also had it on the PC, boom, there would be not bite number three. On mm -hmm. tables that were made, what, eight years ago? On yeah. some of them? Uh-huh. So as far as Lucasfilm is concerned, they're like, well, yeah, that was eight years ago. Come on, keep the revenue going. You know, yeah. you want the license? You want to keep the license? This is what you're going to have to do for us. This is where my, my head is. Is going. No, it makes sense because you know the eight years is a long time to have exclusivity on on a license like this, right? Like now, um, it's possible yeah. in that same kind of vein that maybe all the Zen originals carry over. Maybe. So mm. uh, you know, I, I don't. Maybe I, it's because they own the properties. Exactly. Maybe that's they would what own, you and they not. There's no residuals that they have to pay out to anybody other than yeah. themselves. Okay. It would make sense that they come over and they would almost be like you like you download Pinball FX later on in the year and you get those tables maybe included, maybe, because they're owned by Zen. So maybe you have to throw them in like, right. hey, here's a starting lot. I don't or know. you buy the app, buy the app and you know, it's like 20 bucks, but you get all these tables and they're probably going to be like, retouch with new physics and stuff like that right so it'll be a different experience on them so anyway Maybe. let's let's I don't know. <laughs> again before we speculation go speculation again again before we go too far in the weeds in in one direction i mean we're gonna we're gonna focus in on this let's assume mm. or not assume let's again pretend that this is the case right that it is going to be a case of tables aren't going to be transferring over yeah, so buy them if again. zen is holding things like mandalorian and star wars collectibles from you being able to purchase until Pinball FX comes out, isn't that kind of an actually a ethical business decision rather than Probably. letting you buy it now and then saying a few months down the line, oh, you're going to have to buy it a uh, second time, in which case everybody's going to be really pissed off about that too? Yeah, well, yes, as long as they, they couldn't have done some sort of like interim deal with... Um, uh, Lucasfilm to say, hey, look, if anyone buys it on this platform, they get automatically upgraded to this one. True. Uh, late, later on, they could have they could have done that. Like this is true. Yeah, but so that's also that's this also makes me wonder because I don't think there isn't a reason why some of these tables couldn't wind up coming to FX three, but obviously Zen was going to want you to be in Pinball FX. This is where this is the vision for yes, right. Mm. So I would almost wonder if it's a case where things will be come to pinball effects and then a couple months down the road, hey, do you want it for FX3? You can buy it for FX3. If you didn't want to go the pinball effects mm. room, you know, for whatever reason you didn't want to go there. You know, Because again, we don't know. It might be like what happened with uh, pinball effects too, where a couple of the titles the licenses don't drop off. They drop off. They don't carry over to the next one. In which case Maybe. you're like, but I'm still going to be playing pinball effects and I'd rather everything be there. I don't know. There, there's yeah, don't many know ways that this can go, but I am kind of leaning towards the idea that Zen is using this as a clean break 
they had the past 10 years. They're looking mm. forward to the next 10 years. Pinball effects is it. And if you have to have a clean starting from ground zero, square one point, this is it. Yeah. I think, you know, I think having the clean delineation between like FX3, like the old version style FXs to this new versionless Windows 10 version of Pimble FX, it might be a bit of sticker shock to start with. Like when, if, if they are having, if you will have to rebuy everything, but I think the chances that you have to rebuy everything again in the short to medium term would probably be reduced significantly because of the way, you, you know, the Windows 10 model where you've got one version of Windows now and you just keeps getting patches for it and you don't have to buy a new version to get them. So if you have all your games under this Pimble FX platform, then you'll need to rebuy them again, say in three years time. Because it seems to be up until now, it was like a three year cadence on platforms, right? Like yeah. FX2 to FX3, that was around for pretty much a console lifestyle. Yeah, it's a console life cycle. Right? Yeah, so if they've just got this pinball FX platform and they'd license things accordingly to say, hey, look, this is now perpetual on this platform for X number of years, like say, let's say six no idea if that's what it is, but let's go six years. That way people won't have to, once they buy them on this platform, they won't have to rebuy it again. If they come in from day zero and buy it, they'll have it for six years. Of course, people who come in three years down the track won't have that, but you know they'll still have it for three years or something Cause I'm, like Because I'm even wondering if, and this is looking at the Switch, if it'll be a case of, yeah, Marvel pinball tables just plain aren't available until they come out as a pack. Yeah, the Star Wars is going to come out as a pack. I don't think. I don't think that. I don't think the Steam version is going to be, uh, or I should say, the PC version. I don't know. What, again, we don't know what this is all being released on. Um, mm. But uh, I don't think that that's going to be fractured into different things. No, I think. I think the PC audience kind of has set the bar about what they want from a user experience there. Yeah. And I think on on the consoles, potentially as well, um, so on your PlayStation, your Xboxes, I've got a feeling that that is going to be Pinball FX as a platform and all your DLCs contained inside there. But I think on Oculus... Well, Switch is kind of that weird mobile thing, almost. I like... think they're going to be separate. And, and I think you're right with the with the VR, it'll be separate. Yeah, I think it's going to be separate on on the VR platforms. And there's like we discussed previously, there's architectural reasons why you might need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and likewise on the Switch, because the Switch has limited space as well. Yes. PCs, consoles typically don't. They have large hard drives that you can install things on. Yeah, your uh, Switch it, doesn't have a it, one terabyte hard drive on it. It does not. <laughs> So you've got space concerns there. So segmenting them up into brands uh, is a great idea. As much as people will probably push back on that, it actually makes a lot of sense to do that from a space management perspective. So, yeah. So where were we going with this thought process, though? I oh, yeah, know. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. We always go no, somewhere. No, I think, I think that this is where I'm just kind of looking at the uh, trying to find positives in potential negatives um yeah because there's gonna be so people the, out there going you want me to rebuy everything get stuff yes so like, absolutely no you're gonna thank have, you right and and they're yeah. gonna be and again same with the people that are like and i have to wait how long screw get that get stuffed right <laughs> like no way i don't want to wait till the end of the year but the but the yeah. flip side of that to me is hey if if zen is purposely holding these things back because they also don't want the backlash of you just sold this to me and now I can't even carry it over to the next version. I'm going to have to buy it all over again. If that... It's almost like you can be angry with us now or you can be angry with us later, but you're going to be angry with us. So <laughs> whenever you want to do that, doesn't matter when. We're just like, <laughs> you know. 